Welcome to the Exploratorium for Storytime Science. Today's episode is on color, and the book we're going to be reading is Black is a Rainbow Color. It's written by Angela Joy, and it's illustrated by Ikua Holmes. So this book, starring this girl, is sort of interesting in that it's not just about colors like the color in paint. For her, the color black is part of her identity. It's part of her family. It's part of her history. It's part of her culture. And it has a lot of different meanings than just like black ink or black paint on the page. Red is a rainbow color. Green sits next to blue. Yellow, orange, violet, indigo. They are rainbow colors too, but my color is black. And there's no black in rainbows. Black is a crayon tangled in a box. Black is a feather on white winter snow. Black is the dirt where sunflowers grow. My color is black. Black are the braids in my best friend's hair. Black are the bottoms of summertime feet. Black are soft circles that spin down the street. My color is black. Black is a rhythm. Black is the blues. Black is sidewalking in spit-shined shoes. Black is the robe on Thurgood's back. Black are the trains on railroad tracks. Black are the eyes on salted peas. Black are the shadows of old magnolia trees. Black is molasses from tall sugar cane. Black is soft singing, hush now, don't explain. Black is the skillet for bread to fry. Black are dreams and raisins left out in the sun to die. Black is the color of ink staining page. Black is the mask that shelters his rage. Black are the birds in cages that sing. Black is a color. Black is a culture. Black is history. Black is family. Black is memory. Black is community. Black is the love that lives inside of me. My color is black. Black are the stones bearing witness to prayer. Black is the faith in a freedom not seen. Here is pictures of four black women that did a lot to change history for the better. Black was the man who gave the world his dream. Black is a color. Black is a culture. Black is the heart of a candle and flame. Black is the power of movement in pain. Black are the branches that carry my name, weaving, wrapping, lifting, laughing, hoping, grasping, quiet, strong. Our color is black. So you see, there is no black in rainbows, no black in green or blue, but in my box of crayons, black is a rainbow, too.
We're going to start with primary colors. Now, what does the word primary mean? The word primary means first, or like primary school, um, or the word prime, okay? So it means the first or the first colors, and there are three of them. The three primary colors are, in fact, yellow, ooh, there it is, and magenta, there's a little bit of magenta, and not blue, but not green either, it's a turquoise color. We can call it turquoise, but the science name is cyan, C-Y-A-N. I'm going to spread these out with a brush. And here is the nice dark hot pink. And I'll wash my brush in some water. I don't want to mix the colors until I really want to mix them. And then we'll brush on the yellow. And these are the three primary or first colors. And you use these colors to make all the other colors, all right? So there's your yellow, there's your dark hot pink, also known as magenta, and there's your turquoise, also known as cyan. Now, I'm gonna mix these colors in some water so you can see that I can make red and I can make blue. So let's start with that turquoise or cyan and oh, a couple more drops, good. And some yellow, nice yellow, and some of that magenta. All right, now I'm going to hold these up so you can really see the colors. So there we have some nice cyan and some nice yellow. And some lovely magenta. Let me make a secondary color. What would that secondary color be? Oh, let's try and make red, all right? So well, we'll start with some yellow. All right, now I'm going to add it from the dropper bottle. I'm going to add one drop of the hot pink, the magenta, and let's see what happens. I'll swirl it around. Ooh, I haven't gotten to red yet, but I did make a nice orange. But I want to make red. I already have yellow in here. Let's add even more magenta. Let's see if I've gotten past dark orange. Ooh, that's a nice dark orange. I'll show you that color. And even a couple more drops of magenta so I can make sure I get to a nice red. Oh, even more, another drop of magenta. Two, three, all right. Oh yes, that I think is a good red. We just made red out of magenta and yellow. Now let's try and make real blue. So are we going to add yellow? No, I'm not going to add yellow. I'll wait and do that later. I'm going to add some of the magenta. So I'm going to start very, very slowly and add just, let's try with a couple of drops, or oh, maybe three drops, and I'll swirl it around. Oh, that's a pretty good blue. All right, let's see if we can get a shot of them side by side. You can see that one is definitely turquoise and the other one is blue. But what if I want to make, say, purple? I'm going to start with that blue, and I'm going to add even more magenta to the turquoise that I started with. And we'll see if we can get to purple. And kind of all the different shades in between. 
Oh, I'm going to add more water to this so we can really, we can really see the colors. Ooh, that one is a nice kind of a violet color. If I added even more, and why don't I just do it, more magenta to it, we could make it even more purpley. Here, I'll swirl it with my pipette. This is something that you might have at home. So now, ooh, yes, ooh, that's a nice purpley color. Well, what's another color we want to make? Oh, let's make green. What two colors do you think we'll use to make green? We're going to start with yellow. Start with that primary. And what other primary are we going to add to it? Oh, let's add just a little bit of the cyan. Yellow and cyan or turquoise. I'm going to add it from. Ooh, now it's sort of a, a lemon lime color. Going to add another. Oh, yes. Trying to get to what I like to call Jolly Rancher green. Ooh, that one is a little bit darker than Jolly Rancher, but you can see it is most definitely green. You can also mix these colors and you can get to dark brown or black. In fact, like the little girl in the story that we just read, she wondered if black was a rainbow color. She said, yes, black was a rainbow color because it made her feel the rainbow inside of herself. But in reality, black is really all of the colors of the rainbow mixed together. I am going to try and mix up a bunch of different colors to try and get as close to black or dark brown as I can. All right, so I have my list here. I'm not going to go through them all. I'm going to try for a dark gray or a black and a dark brown. And let's see how I can do that. And by doing that, I'm going to try and get to a color that you don't think of as something in the rainbow, but it's, it's still a color in nature. So, all right, I'm going to try mixing all three colors. And again, I'm going to start with some yellow. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops of yellow. And I'm going to mark it. Okay, for a dark brown, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yellow. And let me get yet another pipette. Oh, I'll use this one here because this one's pretty much cleaned out. And I'm going to do some magenta. Now, this is going to go to red at first. One, two, three, four, five drops of magenta. I'm going to mark that down. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's go to my cyan or my turquoise. Oop. You want to do this in the kitchen, like by the sink, so you don't make as much of a mess as I am. All right, so now let's go for one, two drops of the cyan, and let's see where that's gotten us. All right. So that was one, two drops of the cyan. And let me use my brush again. I'm going to clean the brush. And let's mix this up. And ooh, ooh, I'm already kind of getting to like a grayish green on this one. <gasps> that is, that's a very, very dark green, greenish gray. It's going to be kind of drippy there. I think I want to add maybe another drop of magenta. Let's try two drops of magenta. One, two, and I'm going to mark it on my little data collection sheet here. One, two more drops of magenta. Let's stir it around. Ooh, ooh, it's already starting to look even more gray. Yes, indeed, we're moving more toward 
the dark gray and the black. But I wanted to get to brown. So I'm going to add even more magenta. I'm just guessing at this point. Just trying it out. One, two, more drops of magenta. I'll mark it on my sheet. One, two. And let's see if we're getting, wow, I'm not getting the brown, but I am getting really close to black. You know, I'm going to add one more drop of magenta. Mark it on my sheet. Wow. Well, I think I'm going to stop with this because we got something pretty close to a dark gray or a black. Oh, yeah. Wow. So black is a rainbow color. Black is all the colors of the rainbow mixed together. It's pretty good. And if I want to make black again, I have the recipe here. Two drops of cyan, 10 drops of magenta, and seven drops of yellow gets me to a really nice dark gray or black. Time for Poetry Corner. This poem is called Colors by Shel Silverstein. And Shel Silverstein is a pretty famous illustrator and writer and poet. He's got some really great books out there. I can remember Where the Sidewalk Ends and also A Light in the Attic, but there's lots more. You should check out some more Shel Silverstein. So, colors. My skin is kind of sort of brownish, pinkish, yellowish white. My eyes are grayish, bluish, green, but I'm told they look orange in the night. My hair is reddish, blondish, brown, but it's silvery when wet. And all the colors I am inside have not been invented yet.